Hello again, it's me. Uh, this is video six, I think, of the um, CNC mill drill precision saw and engraving project. It seems to be growing by the minute. Um, had a nightmare um, trying to get the electronics to work with a laptop. Um, everybody says you can't do it. In every forum, it says do not use a laptop because it doesn't work. That's a load of bollocks. Uh, it does work. It just you just have to think it through, and you have to get the right software. There's some amazing people around uh, that have a lot of um, skills in programming, which I sadly don't at the moment. We're getting there. Um, so what did I do? I took the I took the, the drill off, basically uh, the saw part, uh, basically because I needed to finish off my daughter's Christmas present, which meant drilling a tiny little precision hole. In a piece of brass and um, and that uh, meant I had to dismantle it all so that's gone for the moment which has actually done me a favor because I need to put a new section across here framework and that will that will carry the Y and Z axis as I mentioned before also my wife has kindly bought me a Christmas present which is a tiny little uh, high high speed precision spindle she doesn't know it yet but that's what she's bought me okay so um, how did we get on? Well, a complete mess at first. And the reason was the Arduino, which is the, the brains behind all of the, the reason we can do what we do, um, has a number of digital outputs down here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And um, the inputs to the card from China have a number of inputs in this parallel port which usually goes into a printer port on a on a crappy old computer which you simply didn't want to have lying about uh, wanted to use the the Samsung laptop uh, it's slim it's it's uh, it's just cool anyway so I wanted to use a USB output again something you're not supposed to be able to do but that's what the Arduino uh, is there for so the USB goes into the Arduino the Arduino tells sends signals out um, to the stepper motors via this driver and this this bit is where the problem was now I've tried everything it didn't work it didn't work it didn't work I pulled my hair out I was up till five o'clock in the morning um, uh, the other day and I uh, still couldn't get it to work so I went to bed disappointed and frustrated and then I bought myself I should have done it it's logical really a logic probe from Maplin because it just happened to be one of those eureka moments and an email from them saying hey look what we got on sale this christmas so i bought one of those um just to show you what it does the software from this uh, genius in italy um and i'm not even going to attempt to pronounce his name is um he, he comes under the name of um um engineering for less efl i was trying to remember what the name was efl engineering for less less actually is nothing because it doesn't charge anything for this and that's amazing and I love shareware I will be donating to the gentleman once I've got all this fixed up um, just to show you what happens here um, the X Y and Z are now not controlled by this little keypad they're controlled by this um, program and the program normally runs G code now G code is code that machines understand and it comes from CNC software so you do a drawing in CNC software or a drawing is created by someone else. It has code that says in order to make this this item in three three dimensions, I have to tell the stepper motors to go left and right, up and down, blah, blah, blah. And it makes the item brilliant, isn't it? Um, but just at the moment, I've just got it set to manual, which means, again, it's just really an extension of the keypad. But here we can see if we press. Um, let's just set all these to zero. If we press the X plus, the X motor turns. If we press the Y plus, the Y motor turns. And if we press the Z plus, the Z motor turns. At the moment, they're all going anti-clockwise, as you can see. If I press the other button, they go clockwise. And that's as simple as it is. Z, Y, and finally, X brilliant eh? and you can see now that um, they've all 
Let's return that one to zero. You see they've all gone back to zero. And uh, that's what you need to have. You need the precision of being able to have a stepper motor which will accurately go from one position to another and then back to the same position or or, or home position at, at the end. And, it, and the accuracy of that and the precision at which it does it is what is what is the fundamentals of a CNC machine. Anyway, how how did we do this? Well, the biggest prob the biggest problem was the wiring, and the wiring is this is a parallel port this is a usb port this is a computer and the bits in between don't talk to each other and that's fundamentally what it was when you read the um the handbooks that's the handbook that's one from china it's all written in chinglish which basically means i haven't got a clue what they're talking about so i went back to basic engineering looked at the diagram looked at the words along the pins with the help of a logic probe which tells me, let's just say, say for instance, I look at the, the 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 state of the. I don't know. I'm going to do this. The state of the um, the pins individually. Let me see if I can wham this in there without Alfie going at me. Uh, oh God, this is giving me a nightmare. I've got to use my other thing. Alfie, could you press the X button? Right, I'm just about there. Okay, now if I press the X button, which I'm on the X pin. <laughs> You can see that the X motor receives a series of square wave pulses to tell it to go, and that's it. Uh, if I tell it to go in the opposite direction, another um, pulse is sent very quickly to another pin, and that tells it to go in the opposite direction. And that's just, that's basically what it is. But pin one on here is not pin one on here and pin two on here is not pin two on here and that's the problem so now I, I i know from the from the diagram what these pins are supposed to be and i know from the logic probe what these pins are doing and so i just jumped the cable and it, and it worked first time there's not it's not a lot of uh, doesn't require a lot of uh, intellect to do it's just a matter of um, methodically going through it so I'm, I'm, the word I think I'm trying to use is pretty damn chuffed. I can now, from here, as you can hear, drive any one of the axes. And I can do this from my laptop. I can do it from this phone, which I'm taking this video with. Uh, I can do it from the internet. Um, control this any which way I want. Um, so n I'm really now fundamentally at a good point. All I need now is to give this program a sample code um, to make something like a ring or a ball or, or something and watch these motors working. And that should be the last thing to do. And then it's just a case of putting it all back together again with all the mechanics, which, which is going to be early next year. Um, spindle motor, which is the 25th of December when I open it. Um, and um, that will fit on, on, on the top here. On that, you will have a drilling, a mill, or, or, or an engraving tip, and that will be able to whiz around and, and engrave or drill or uh, mill a piece of um, plastic or metal or material on, on, the, on this plate. Um, the second part of it is retrofitting it with this, which would require another Z-axis here, and I just switch it over and that will produce a saw. So we're getting there. That's uh, video six. I think the next one you see will be um, obviously video seven and that will be hopefully all assembled. Pretty damn chuffed about this. Pretty damn chuffed. If you want any information, subscribe to my YouTube um, videos and uh, put any comments below. This is public domain stuff because everything I've had so far has been helpful from other people. So. Anything you really need to know, you don't understand, uh, let me know. I'll, I'll um, run through the list of the components. The Arduino Uno is obvious. You just buy one off eBay, 20 quid. Stepper motor. This is a TB6560 three-axis blue one. Three-axis blue. And it's the one that's controllable manually and by a parallel port uh, it says um, this part here this plug here is now used as a limit switch and emergency stop port um, for all of the other 
um, things that I need to do. So I, that, that will be used later on when I fit limit switches to here for the saw and obviously for the CNC and also an emergency, big red emergency stop button here for when it all goes completely and utterly tits up. It's running NEMA 17s, that's all I need. You can do 23s, you can do 34s. If you do, you need to wank up the, the power a little bit in here. That's the power supply, it's 12 volts. Uh, I think it's 15, let me have a look. 12 volts at seven amps. So that's that's um, pretty pretty um, pretty good power supply. It's a Traco. Don't buy crap power supplies. It's just what it's it's basically what every every single problem that goes wrong goes wrong because somebody puts a crap power supply on it. Get a Traco one. It's worth every penny. They're not that expensive. Okay, that's all for now, folks. Watch out for video number seven. Hopefully as soon as. Take care.